Hey everyone, welcome to another Fuse Network Meet Session. You're here with me, Ian Kane, and in this session, we'll be chatting with a few of the team from Depocket. The Depocket app is a user-friendly platform allowing you to better manage crypto assets across multiple blockchains and multiple wallets, including Fuse Network. So adding Fuse Network to Depocket's blockchain portfolio is helping Depocket expand to more potential users and especially enterprise audiences, which is where Fuse focuses. So at the same time, Depocket users have also got the additional option for different investments with the Fuse assets. So let's do a little sound check for today. How are you guys doing? How are you both? Hi. Yeah, I'm good. We're good. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing, Nabi? You good today? Yeah, I'm good. Actually, I have a lot on uh, my plate, but uh, I still phone up for energy to try the um, meeting today. Nice. Thank you. Well, well I, I really appreciate your time, guys. I know how busy we all are, right? So it's good that uh, we're all here today. So let's jump straight in. So for those of you that don't already know, maybe this is the first time you've tuned into a Fuse Network Meet session. Fuse is a unique blockchain that aims to bridge the gap between crypto and the real world. The platform has features and tokens that will help you in creating a crypto economy. And they've been in the blockchain space for a long time, working tirelessly to upgrade products and features this year and moving forward as well. So our approach to bringing crypto payments and DeFi to the masses empowers other projects, businesses, organizations, and communities to adopt crypto payments and DeFi. So with that in mind, it's time to talk to today's guest. So it's a pleasure for me to have Nabi and Jay here from Depocket today. And we're gonna discuss their multi-chain portfolio platform. So let's jump straight in, guys. Can you please, let's start at the beginning. We would like to know who you are. So can you each introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourselves and maybe your kind of journey here. How did you end up in this crazy blockchain world? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. okay, hey everyone, hi Fuse team and uh, hi Fuse audience. This is Jay, uh, I'm BD of the Pocket, uh, uh, who is responsible in, uh, in business development strategy of the Pocket and uh, the partnership of the Pocket in, the, in, in our dashboard that we integration of the Pocket. So uh, today is, uh, you guys have with me and uh, this beautiful ladies here is Nabi. A CMO of T Pocket, yeah. And today we are blessed to be here today, and we talk about uh, how T Pocket is doing, and uh, uh, and the, the co cooperation of T Pocket and Fuse Network. Yeah, very nice to be here. Nice, nice. Thanks, Navi. How are you doing? Are you good? Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up in this place? Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's my pleasure to uh, speak here today. I'm uh, Nabi. I'm a CMO and co-founder of uh, Deep Pocket. I have around uh, uh, eight years experience in the digital marketing and uh, two years in the cryptocurrency. And uh, it's my pleasure to have uh, the meeting with the uh, Phil Snickle today. Yeah. And nice. I, I really, um, I mean, um, I'm willing to share my experience and uh, my knowledge about cryptocurrency. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, it's a pleasure to have you both here today. We've got a whole bunch of questions, but the point of today's session is to outline what Depocket is, what it is, what it does, and why it's cool for the Fuse Network users to be able to use this. So let's start at the beginning. And uh, what is Depocket all about, guys? I don't know who wants to take this question, but give us the kind of top line vision what can you do with deep pocket what is deep pocket okay um mm -hmm. so yeah really nice to share about the pocket so i'll now get into the deep pocket so basically deep pocket is the DeFi checker uh deep pocket is an integrated DeFi platform that support users to manage and invest their cryptocurrency assets uh, across multi-chains and multi-wallet so the problem, the idea is uh, when you have when you have many token on BSC, on Fuse Network, on Celo, all the chains, and you also have some portfolio uh, along with uh, lending or borrowing on many platforms like Venus or Pancake Swap. The question is, how can you manage them all right? How can you track the balances in real time? You have to log in and log out on many platforms to see your balances to see what's happening in your in the platform you're investing. Yeah. So Depocket is the solution. Now, when, when using our dashboard, you just copy and paste your wallet address in the app and your balances, your portfolio 
everything will be shown on the screen without connecting any wallet. Nice. So up to now, uh, the pocket has been supporting uh, 15 different chains along with uh, around 50 DFs from many categories like AMM, DEX, lending, borrowing, staking, etc. And we always prioritize to support those DF that are create interest and used by the community. Nice. Yeah, because we always want the com want the the DF that must be quality instead of the quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Can you share more about our project? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Jay. Actually, you are uh, almost cover it, but I just wanna. Uh, add some more information that the podcast we are still in the developing stage and in the future a uh, more amazing future will be uh, coming soon and uh, currently we are uh, focused to uh, build more um, I mean to integrate more blockchains and uh, the app yeah because we want to build the product market fit and make the DeFi world where integrated as many as DeFi platform as possible. Uh, I mean, it's easy to create a one-stop shop DeFi platforms. And on our platform, people can swap on many DF, make transactions, or do staking, farming on various AMM debt. Yeah, and uh, we have uh, on-chain API for developer in the future. So stay tuned. Oh, nice, nice. Navi's giving out some alpha here. I like that, Jay. She just jumps in and, and threw some alpha down. I like it. Okay, guys, that's very cool. And I think just to summarize, the Deep Pocket portfolio app is, as you guys rightly say, Jay, you said it, it's really difficult to keep track of your assets across all these different chains, especially if you're deep into DeFi and you've got yield farming on BNB chain and something on Ethereum and NFTs on Solana, all these different things happening and you've got all this, these different assets. I think it's very important not just for Fuse users, that they can also track everything in one place. So it's a good project. It's a good idea. It's a, it's a cool thing. So let's jump in and, and get a bit more details as well. So can you tell us a bit about the vision of Deep Pocket? You know, there's a lot of, um, there's other platforms out there, guys, that do this. You know that. I know that. How is Deep Pocket a little bit different from other tracking dashboards? Like, how do you guys do things differently? Yeah, thank you. That's a very nice question. Um, I think I'm going to mm, talk about the vision and uh, Navi will provide us about the, the how different this the pocket with other other DF, other tracking dashboard in the market. So our vision is to create a DeFi world. We, so when DeFi grow, the pocket will involve, that's our slogan. And I believe that it will solve the problem of investor and trader to help them save more time and earn more profit when manage their, their assets and make the transactions. Like for example, when you want to swap uh, BNB uh, USDT, mm -hmm. right? Okay, we'll list out the price on Pancake Swap, Bakery Swap. Uh, after that, you can evaluate with uh, which platform that have, have a cheaper price and lower gas fee. It's saving your time and make you earn more profit. And in the next few months, we will support uh, staking and farming as well. For example, we will list out the ABY, ABR ranking of oh, many nice. AM index. And, uh, for, uh, and in, with that, you can see the interest rate on Pancake, uh, like uh, 12%, and uh, the other is 20%. So you can choose the pool with higher interest rate and deposit on that. That's saving your time and earn more profit. That's the reason of the pocket. And Nabi, can you share with... Uh, with us the, the strain of the pocket? Yeah, for sure. Um, actually, uh, currently you can do swap on the pocket. We already uh, released that feature. Uh, Sometimes I swap uh, like fields on near, yeah, and uh, I see that if I only swap on pancake, uh, the, the interest rate, I mean, the rate is kind of high, but with the pockets, you can choose the best rate. Yeah, so just try it. Um, yeah, and uh, some of the strength of the pocket, uh, I think it can be the index engines because I uh, yeah. when I discuss some of uh, our competitor, I see that some of them uh, they use the index engines from the third party. Yeah, so and it's my impact 
on the experience. I mean, when people loading the data, yeah, and it's my slowly. So uh, with the index engine of the pockets, we will improve the uh, experience of user when they use the pocket app. Yeah, and especially for DeFi checker. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So it's a little bit more advanced. You've got different features. I like it. You guys did a good job there of explaining. I just want to go into that index engine a little bit there, Navi. You mentioned mm -hmm. it. And I, I and I did know that the Deep Pocket's got its own index engine. And is it? Uh, how do you index the the data on? How do you index on chain data like that? Uh, what problem is that solving? Um, could you could you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, we have the we are uh, we have the our own index engine, and the problem is we are trying to show the the reading speed of real time data on chain. Uh -huh. Because it's too slow and it reduces the speed of the app on Web3. Yep. That's why we are developing an index engine for efficient and high speed indexing of the blockchain data to solve the, this problem. So, um, the Pocket Index Engine is simply a, a piece of software that reads and stores and indexes data on blockchains. It's the event driven system. Uh, it index on chain data will constantly listening to data for blockchain in real time with the event that uh, a new block will create on the blockchain. So every time a new block is created, uh, the pocket read the data and store the data in a faster and more efficient readable form to optimize the reading speed of the data from the blockchain. Nice. So it gives you a much fact gives your end users a much quicker and more efficient system to use. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's talk a little bit about the, um, and also Jay, I just, you, you said something, it, it was brilliant. You said you save time and you increase your profits. Perfect. Like that's good, right? That's, that's what, <laughs> that's what people are trying to do out there. I think as a yeah. very, on a basic level, saving time is something mm -hmm. that people need to do. Being able to look at their assets across multiple blockchains all in one place. It makes life much easier. I also, yeah, hundred percent mm -hmm. agree. It's necessary. Yeah. It's definitely we still, uh, yeah we still uh, build and improve that uh yeah so it's um easier said than done but mm -hmm. let the product speak for itself yes that's true yeah. that's true let's looking for the coming yeah let's um let's dive into the roadmap a little bit like you guys have been around for a while so it makes sense to ask kind of you know what have you accomplished in 2022 how's it been going lately uh, and what are you planning for the for, for the future? Like what's coming for Deep Pocket that people can get excited about? Yeah, uh, let me uh, share that. Um, actually, we uh, have done the idea eight months ago and uh, we achieved uh, many milestones. Like uh, we already integrated around 14 chains and uh, support more than um, 40 DRs and uh, I mean, the DApps on this network. Um, we also have, I mean, we released the um, SWAT feature. Yeah, and um, as Jay already said, as you can try to uh, save your time and earn more profit. Uh, coming soon in the future, uh, currently, let me check the roadmap a little bit. Uh, we, um, I mean, the dev team, they are uh, still uh, working hard to, um, to build a new dashboard. Yeah, so you guys will have a new interface with the better experience. Yeah, and uh, of course we will release the APR, APY ranking feature. With that feature, you guys can choose the platform with the best interest rate to invest in. Yeah, and uh, more, uh, we focus to build the index engines and on-chain API for developer. I, I really love the on-chain API because yeah. with on-chain API, developers saving their time to to build the new product. I mean, the, especially for D5 product. Yep, they can just plug yeah. straight in, right? So they can just plug straight in. Uh, it's great. It's a really nice feature, yeah. Yeah, and of course, uh, next we have to uh, reroute and um, build the brand awareness and reroute more active user. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So a bit of a refresh, a bit of a, a bit of upgrade, but all in in line with making things easier for the user, 
more useful for the user sounds very cool. Mm -hmm. And especially the APY kind of ranking, that sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm quite keen to see that. Um, all right, cool. Jay, anything to add on the roadmap side of things? Or is, uh, has Nabi covered everything there? Uh, yes. And uh, of course, we still have uh, more filter, but uh, those is the key filter we want to achieve in the future. All right, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about the cooperation or the sort of partnership between Fuse and Deep Pocket a little bit as well. And um, what can Fuse, like what will be offered to users um, with the cooperation here? Like what can Fuse network users expect to see from Deep Pocket? Um, and how can they get started on Deep Pocket? You know, what's the process? Is it easy? How do they set up? Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, we are very happy that we already finished the integration of Fuse Network into our dashboard. Yeah. And uh, Deep Pocket will, uh, the, the cooperation of Fuse Network and Deep Pocket will able to help the holders uh, significantly protect themselves. That's the first. Uh, the first point is protect themselves from being hacked, or being subject to information loss. For mm -hmm. uh, because for, for doing that, the pocket doesn't require you to connect your wallet, but still let you be able to track your wallet easily. So all you need to do is just copy and paste the address, and done. All of your portfolio across DeFi platform on Fuse or on the or other platform will be shown on the screen. As, as I mentioned before. And user it now can simply turn the green tick on the Fuse icon at the, at the corner of the dashboard uh, in the a, in a multi-chain section of the Deep Pocket dashboard to track on the investment and balances on Fuse network. So in the near future, we will push the, the process of integrating more and more DeFi platform that build on Fuse network. Mm -hmm. And Fuse user will be able to have an all-in-one center to do with dozens of, of platforms that they are investing in. So Perfect. overall, the, the cooperation of the Pocket and Fuse Network will strengthen the convenience in monitoring uh, your portfolio on Fuse Network and its ecosystem. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to make life much easier for Fuse users, I think. One thing as well, guys, that I really like these kind of portfolio trackers for, because you input your wallet address, right? As you said, Joe, you don't connect your wallet, you just input your wallet address. So I really like that. But the second thing I really like about it is that your, once I put my wallet address in, your uh, platform basically tells me what's in my wallet. Because sometimes you forget what's in your wallet. And sometimes you don't add tokens to your MetaMask, for example, and you might have a small amount. And, some, mm -hmm. and sometimes I've been onto these platforms, I've put my wallet address and I'm like, oh, I've got four or five tokens I completely forgot about that have just been shown to me. So like really simple thing, but very cool, like finding thing. And then you can have a nice pleasant surprise, right? Like, so lots of, lots of benefits, I think, um, lots of benefits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me clarify a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, when you use the filter like checking balance, no need to connect wallet and we even don't uh, manage your mnemonic um but when you use the swap filter of course you have to connect wallet but it's still safe because our deep pockets we already i mean uh, be audited by static and uh, very chain yeah nice, nice. Mm -hmm. so yeah you connect your wallet when you want to do swaps which is normal blockchain on chain activity you're going to have to connect but just yeah. to check yeah, you can just input, which is nice. It's really cool. Yeah, All right. It's, uh, it's very simple, but uh, there is some situation that very hard to solve that like when you have some many token and you put in here and you forgot it. And when yeah, the price is like uh, multiple 10 to 100 mm -hmm. and you forget about it. And when you come back that the, the price is down. Yeah. Yeah, this and, is, <laughs> yeah, this is this the is art to me, right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, it's a uh, super convenience because uh, if you, uh, I mean, when you invest in the maybe pancake swap and yeah, uh, yeah. and also Venus, right? And you you don't no need to log into pancake to check your balance and then log out. Yeah, it's so with the pockets, just copy the wallet address and pass on the app. Yeah, and all those things shows. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. Just to ask, guys, you said you're covering 50 net. Um, how many networks do you cover? You don't have to uh -huh. name them all, but a lot of EVM networks, I'm guessing. We're talking about BNB chain, Ethereum. Which uh, yeah, uh, 14, 14 networks. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, 40 DF. Uh, yeah, and um, it includes um, EVM and also BSC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you want to catch, if you want to know, I mean, for users out there, if you're using different networks, you can go and connect on the uh, to the Deep Pocket website, put your wallet address in, and you'll quickly find out what is and what isn't covered there. So that's cool. All right, let's talk about um, the cases of your token a little bit, because you guys have a token called uh, Depot, and I want to talk about that a, a little bit, and the use cases of it. How does it work? What's it for? Mm. Yeah, maybe uh, I can share that. Um, some of the features, uh, the token use case, we have the depot token. Uh, yeah, and uh, it can use for feature unlock. Of course, the podcast is a free to use platform. Uh, however, some of the uh, premium features will be unlocked if uh, the, the people, the user, they uh, they hold the depot token, they uh -huh. can unlock the premium feature mm -hmm. yeah nice. and uh, depot it can be used for governance I mean the, the people they hold depot for vote they they vote for the uh, feature they want yeah mm -hmm. um, we have the um, vote.depocket.com and uh, people can create the vote and uh, we will uh, check that and I mean and after that, uh, consider to uh, to to execute their demand. Yeah, but of nice. course, by our result. And okay. uh, for staking and uh, liquidity reward, of course, uh, we have um, we already released the staking feature, and people now can um, release uh, uh, can uh, um, deposit their depot to earn more profit. Nice. And of course, for payments, as I already said. Uh, earlier, because the pockets we have on chain API for developer, right? So, developer will pay by default to use that on chain API, yeah. And nice. of course, we use uh 20% of that fee to burn forever, mm -hmm. yep. so it will reduce it will reduce the total number of depot token, I mean, the total supply of depot. Mm -hmm. nice. Nice, nice. You mentioned there as well, Nabi, about pro features. So, so you t you get a certain amount of depot and you stake that, and then d you get like a deep pocket pro when you log in there. What what, what do you get extra with deep pocket pro? Do you want to tell uh, anybody about the sort of extra features? Uh, the extra feature of depot, um, colleague, uh, that is uh, the key token use case of depot and maybe in the future we will have uh, more token use case for depot okay cool 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 all right so we're in a bear market guys like we have to talk about this it's it's a bit of a sad time for crypto right like the prices are down it's a little bit sad but i don't think it's that sad i actually think this is the time where serious projects build and this will Separate the wheat from the chaff, as we say. You'll get the good projects that will maintain. So the question is, how do you keep your community engaged in a bear market? How are you? Because this is a DeFi platform. This is a DeFi tracking portfolio platform. So how are you keeping people engaged right now? Okay, that's a nice question. <laughs> yeah. Um, the yeah, bas basically, uh, in the bear market, on the project and people is very yeah afraid of mm -hmm. investing in, and uh, yeah, so do I. So do us. I think the 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 most important is to keep a positive attitude, no matter how good or bad the market is. Uh, always keep uh, we we always keep interacting with the community. Yeah. Uh, the moderator and the admin of the the Telegram group or any group must uh, actively participate in discussing with team member, uh, avoid them to be afraid or they uh, not let they think that uh, we'll disappear. Or oh, the admin is, where, where, where is the admin now? <laughs> yeah. And more importantly, uh, the team must always believe in what uh, they have and they are and will do in the future. 
the value, uh, the, the product will, will retain users the way they find and decide to use the product. So um, moreover, we also uh, have some plan to, in, uh, to do in the, in the bear market. Like uh, we, we are developing the, uh, the website called defilearn.net. That's the website. We are providing the crypto market uh, updates. We provide the knowledge up for the communities from basic to advanced knowledge about crypto, about DeFi. Yeah. And uh, along with that, we also plan for uh, uh, yeah, a program called the Pocket Podcast. Yeah, we will, uh, nice. we will participate uh, with the partner that uh, in our uh, in our dashboard, like yeah, maybe a few next week, we will be the, uh, one of our guests in, the, in our podcast in the near future. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be, cool. be really yeah. cool. I uh, yeah I I think uh, Dow Jones bear market is the time to filter the project yeah and for the pockets, uh, it's the time for us to uh, reallocate the budgets mm. yeah and I mean our finance uh, yeah and um, to um, uh, to to re I mean uh, to to build up more departments like Jay actually Jay is kind of. Uh, like a new team member of the pockets, but uh, he's still doing great. And uh, so we want to build more useful for information and useful um, uh, website for our community yeah, to build the ecosystem of the pocket. That's why we aim to create the uh, podcast and uh, already release the website, defilearn.net. That's super cool. Like, I like the idea of kind of pivoting rather than, you know, trying to get people to check their portfolio, which they may not want to do. Why don't we just educate them, teach them new things so that when all the when the good times return, these guys are even more educated, even more ready to act. I think that's very cool and a very smart idea, guys. Like it's uh, and I, I hope it works for you as well. I think that's very good. And um Okay, cool. So we know how you're kind of trying to keep your community engaged, and I think you're doing good work there. How do you think you can go after more users? Apart from, you know, connecting with blockchains like Fuse and adding a whole new community, how can you guys go out there and acquire more users for Deep Pocket? What's the plans there? Yeah. Uh, regarding uh, that, I already scanned our competitor <laughs> and uh, other big crypto projects to learn their marketing strategy. And I realized that most of them don't uh, execute their digital marketing like Facebook ads, Google ads. Uh, I mean, maybe it's the, because of the, uh, the policy of uh, that uh, web to uh, yeah, yeah. platform. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, but actually, the pockets we uh, are running some um, Google ad, yeah, uh, the SEM campaign to uh, recruit more uh, active user, and of course, we are building uh, other. I mean, the the ecosystem, the um, the insight channel like Defalon.net, yeah, to to provide the useful information for the, our user and uh, also uh, introduce about the Pocket app. And I think it's the long run way to uh, build up the um, active user. And of course, to do the partnership, it's just super, I mean, important um, for the um, crypto project to uh, build and extend the uh, blockchain network. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't agree anymore. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's difficult out there right now, right? But I think as you yeah. guys are saying, it's a time when you've got to focus, you've got to reallocate budgets, you've got to think smart, right? Like you can't just, yeah. people are, you've got to kind of, uh, yeah, you've got to play smart and you've got to be a little bit different. But that's why I say that these times are actually the best times because from this, we all learn we all learn a lot from this about how to react and and how to move forward in difficult times so and i think it's inevitable right guys like we can't always have up cycles of, of pricing and all these other things otherwise it would be a bit crazy right so uh yeah we have to move in flows all right cool guys i think i think we've come to the end today and uh, i think both of you guys have done a great job of explaining what deep pocket is all about Anything else that you either of you want to get out there today, maybe just to say thank you. And then lastly, 
where can people connect with Deep Pocket as in if they want to ask questions, maybe they want to be an ambassador for Deep Pocket? How can people connect with you and reach out to you guys? Yeah, uh, people can uh, connect and uh, send any questions uh, to the pockets, uh, Telegram or uh, Twitter, like uh, the pockets uh, finance on uh, Twitter, and maybe send your uh, email to uh, marketing uh, the pockets dot com. Yeah. And for the API, uh, Nabi, if you're interested in the API provision, who do you contact for that? Um, API, pardon, uh, can you? Uh, who do you? Who would you reach out to if uh, if somebody was interested in working with the API? Who would they contact? What's the who? Who do they reach out to? Uh, they can uh, contact Jay, and uh, after that, we will uh, connect them with the technical team. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, nice, 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 nice. Jay, anything to add before we wrap up for today? Mm, um, yeah, I think uh, thank you for your network here today for hosting us. Uh, this very cool episode today and for uh, for the audience and uh, the, the community I think who people the people who survive the bear market will be more stronger <laughs> and success uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, right. when the market go up again yes uh, that's, that's the, yeah. yeah that's that's what I, I keep in mind all the time when uh, when the price go down <laughs> yeah uh, thank Have you very it. much those diamond hands right those diamond hands it's uh <laughs> but as we say like i think it's everyone in this call right now i think we're all quite excited about the next couple of years actually this is a really exciting time i think i think at the in a few years time we might be in a really different place where mm -hmm. a lot more people are going to know about crypto a lot more people are going to be using it yeah. a lot more people are going to understand it so i think it's it's pretty exciting like um let's forget about all that negativity right let's keep it positive so mm -hmm. Thank you, both of you. Thank you for your time today. Uh, I want to give everyone that's listening out there a big thank you as well. Um, but mainly to Nabi and Jay for coming along and, and explaining everything. They've done a great job of explaining what Deep Pocket is all about, how it works, what you can do with it. And uh, yeah, go and check it out. Like The best way to find out about things is to go and use them. And as these guys say, it's a free service. You don't have to spend any money. Just go check it out. See what you think. Um, and then I'm sure these guys would love your feedback as well. So as uh, Jay said, users can now simply turn on the green tick on the Fuse icon in the multi-chain section of the Deep Pocket app, and they can track all their investments and balances on Fuse. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, and that's it for, for, for this show. And uh, we'll be back soon with more exclusive content. And for all the lovely Fusers, keep it locked on Twitter and Discord to find out the updates. So have a great day, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, everyone.